right now um, welcome back guys um, this is a small video um, talking about customizing your scripts a few months back I shared the script I normally use to connect to my uh, Microsoft online service uh, it works by just double clicking on a shortcut and you get prompted for a password you type that in and you're connected to the Microsoft online service you can do stuff like uh, get MSOL user such string okay so what I'm gonna do today is um, offer some other ways you can actually uh, customize that so I'm gonna first I'm gonna go ahead and navigate into the folder where I have my script. Well, the customize I should say the customization I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eliminate the prompt or password, even though it's not secure. But sometimes you're already in a secure location and you don't want that to be prompting you all the time. So what I'll first I'll do is uh, do something. Uh, it's uh, get my credential and store it, which is bad. I'm going to repeat that over and over so you know it's bad. Oops. It's going to do like export uh, CLI. It's going to prompt my username. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Okay. 365 D. Dot. On. My. Type in my password. And that has been stored. So once I have the credential store, I can uh, go back to my script folder here. This is the credential. I can just go ahead and edit my script. Just need to take, change two things with that script. Uh, I'm going to comment out the um, username because I no longer need it because it's already been stored. Then I'm going to comment out this uh, cred section. Oops, oh, not comment. And I'm going to put another method of gathering the credential. It's going to be cred equals input. And I'm going to tell it to import what? Mm -hmm import that file that we created, we exported out. Once I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and save my script here. Then I'm going to minimize. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is actually change my shortcut for a minute. And I'm going to change that to Because I wanted to start in where the script is. Then I'm going to apply and I'm going to hit an OK. I'm going to close this. So if I double click on this uh, shortcut again, it should just log me right in. There you go. And I can do stuff like get. MSOL user such string there you go so this is how you basically you, you take your credential you store it so it can be used um, without prompting you 
it, it is like I said it's not really a good thing because it's it's some bridge of security because you actually store in the credential local uh, but it's not that different as installing your credential in the credential manager so if you have any if your company has something against storing credential in credential manager then this is not for you if your company doesn't have anything against storing credential in the credential manager this might just work for you all right uh thank you for um listening or watching uh, you have a great day